that with the all uh, African, uh, East African community member, the country will uh, understand that uh, we need peace uh, and the people of Congo need peace and so we need to go to election. And one more time, thank you very much. Excellencies, now I invite uh, right Honourable Jean Pierre Bemba, the Vice Prime Minister and Minister of Defence of DRC, representing His Excellency Felix Antonio Shishkeni, to give his remarks. Your Excellency, please. Good afternoon, everybody. His Excellency. I believe uh, you don't have the translator for everybody, so I will try to speak in my bad English. And I hope you will understand me. On behalf of President Tisekedi, we apologize not to be here. As you understand, we are in a campaign at the moment, presidential campaign. It has me to greet all of you. I to apologize one more time. Of, uh, he wouldn't like to, to be here, but he, he couldn't. Uh, we believe in the East African community. Of course, because uh, this community can uh, develop the whole east of uh, Africa. Problem uh, in uh, DRC, we are having and we are facing a war in the east of the country, and the meeting here was to find a way to come out uh, of this uh, of this war because uh, we have more than uh, 2.4 million people uh, displaced, and we need to find a solution to allow them to go back to their village, to their country, to their territory. And um, I thank uh, the United Republic of Tanzania to welcome us, Madam President, um, and uh, to allow us to have this uh, meeting here. I will not be so long. I thank everybody for all this effort done, and I hope that uh, this African community and DRC particularly, with the grace of God, will live in peace very soon. That's what we are all expecting, and I hope that I hope that all. I hope that with the all uh, African, uh, East African community member, the country will uh, understand that uh, we need peace uh, and the people of Congo need peace and so we need to go to election. And one more time, thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, for that uh, very encouraging message to East Africans. Now, allow me to invite the Right uh, Honorable Eduardo Girente, Prime Minister, representing His Excellency President Paul Kagame of the Republic of Rwanda, to make your remarks. Your Excellency, most welcome. Your Excellency Samia Suluhu Hassan, the President of uh, Tanzania and uh, our hosts. Your Excellency Salva Kiel, President of South Sudan and uh, the new Chair of our community. Your Excellency Evais Ndaishimie, President of Burundi and uh, our outgoing Chair. Your Excellency you are Kaguta Museveni, the President of Uganda. Your Excellency William Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, the President of Somalia. Your Excellency Jean Pierre Bemba, Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Defense of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Distinguished Delegate, a very good afternoon. I have the, the honor of joining you today, representing uh, His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, 
at this uh, 23rd Ordinary Summit of East African Community Head of State. Let me begin uh, by thanking our host, Her Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, for the gracious hospitality and extended to, our, to us by the government, of the, the, the government of Tanzania. I also wish to congratulate our outgoing chair of the summit, His Excellency Evaisi Ndaishimiye, President of Burundi, for his commitment and uh, leadership. I would also like to congratulate the incoming chairperson, His Excellency President Salva Kiir, President of South Sudan. I want to also take this opportunity to welcome the Federal Republic of Somalia into the community. The Republic of Rwanda is committed to supporting and continuing to work with uh, the new chair during the next tenure of the, Eastern, uh, the East African Community Chairmanship. Rwanda, Rwanda also appreciates the East African Community Heads of State for their continued, continued efforts in preserving peace, security, and stability in the region. Rwanda believes that East African Community Partner States shall continue to collaborate in maintaining and safeguarding the best we have achieved across our region. In this regard, we note with appreciation the increasing cooperation among the EAC states, regional integration projects and the programs continue to grow despite a limited funding mechanism. However, funding, finding, finding a suitable and sustainable source of funding for East African community remains a priority. And this has been also discussed in our closed session. Rwanda, Rwanda is committed to partnering with uh, other EEC member states to address this issue. Excellencies, I wish to emphasize again, once again, the urgency of accelerating efforts towards climate adaptation, mitigation, and uh, environmental sustainability. Let me conclude my remarks by stressing the importance of embracing a joint infrastructure project across the region. I once again thank you, thank the United Republic of Tanzania for hosting us and the East African Community Secretariat for organizing this successful summit. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for those remarks coming from the President, Paul Kagame of the Republic of Rwanda. Your Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, for that uh, very encouraging message to East Africans now. Allow me to invite the Right uh, Honorable Eduardo Girente, Prime Minister, representing His Excellency President Paul Kagame of the Republic of Rwanda, to make your remarks. Your Excellency, most welcome. Your Excellency Samia Suluhu Hassan, the President of uh, Tanzania and uh, our hosts. Your Excellency Salva Kiir, President of South Sudan and uh, the new Chair of our community. Your Excellency Evais Ndaishimiye, President of Burundi and uh, our outgoing Chair. Your Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, the President of Uganda, Your Excellency William Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency 
Hassan Sheikh Mohamoud, the President of Somalia, Your Excellency Jean-Pierre Bemba, Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Defense of the Democratic Republic of Congo, distinguished delegates, a very good afternoon. I have the, the honor of joining you today, representing uh, His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, at this uh, 23rd Ordinary Summit of East African Community, Head of State. Let me begin uh, by thanking our host, Her Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, for the gracious hospitality and extend it to, uh, to us by the government, of the, the, the government of Tanzania. I also wish to congratulate our outgoing chair of the summit, His Excellency Evaisin Daishimiye, President of Burundi, for his commitment and uh, leadership. I would also like to congratulate the incoming chairperson, His Excellency President Salvaki, President of South Sudan. I want to take this opportunity to welcome the Federal Republic of Somalia into the community. The Republic of Rwanda is committed to supporting and continuing to work with uh, the new chair during the next tenure of the, Eastern, uh, the East African community chairmanship. Rwanda, Rwanda also appreciates the East African community heads of state for their continued, continued efforts in preserving peace, security, and stability in the region. Rwanda believes that East African community partner states shall continue to collaborate in maintaining and safeguarding the best we have achieved across our region. In this regard, we note with appreciation the increasing cooperation among the EAC states, the general integration projects and the programs continue to grow despite a limited funding mechanism. However, funding, finding, finding a suitable and sustainable source of funding for East African community remains a priority. And this has been also discussed in our closed session. Rwanda, Rwanda is committed to partnering with uh, other EEC member states to address this issue. Excellencies, I wish to emphasize again, once again, the urgency of accelerating efforts towards climate adaptation, mitigation, and uh, environmental sustainability. Let me conclude my remarks by stressing the importance of embracing the joint infrastructure project across the region. I once again thank you, thank the United Republic of Tanzania for hosting us and the East African Community Secretariat for organizing this successful summit. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for those remarks coming from the President, Paul Kagame of the Republic of Rwanda. Your Excellency, now I invite uh, Right Honorable Jean Pierre Bemba, the Vice Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of DRC, representing His Excellency Felix Antonio Shishkeli, to give his remarks. Your Excellency, please. Good afternoon, everybody. His Excellency, I believe uh, you don't have the translator for everybody, so I will try to speak in my bad English. And I hope you will understand me. On behalf of President Tisekedi, we apologize not to be here. As you understand, we are in a campaign at the moment, presidential campaign. It has me to greet all of you. I to apologize one more time. Of, uh, he wouldn't like to, to be here, but he, he couldn't. Uh, we believe in the East African community, of course, because uh, this community can develop the whole East of uh, Africa. 
problem uh, in the DRC we are having and we are facing a war in the east of the country and the meeting here was to find a way to come out uh, of, this, uh, of this war because uh, we have more than uh, 2.4 million people uh, displaced and we need to find a solution to allow them to go back to their village, to their, country, to their territory. And um, I thank uh, the United Republic of Tanzania to welcome us, Madam President, um, and uh, to allow us to have this uh, meeting here. I will not be so long. I thank everybody for all this effort done, and I hope that uh, this African community, and DRC particularly, with the grace of God, will live in peace very soon. That's what we are all expecting, and I hope that I hope that all I hope that with the all uh, African, uh, East African community member, the country will uh, understand that uh, we need peace and the people of Congo need peace and so we need to go to election. And one more time, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for the message that you've given on behalf of the President of uh, DRC. Your Excellencies, now I invite the outgoing chair of the East African community, His Excellency Varishi Dashimeye, and who is also the President of the Republic of Burundi, to give your remarks, Your Excellency. Your Excellency Samia Soruhu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, our host. Your Excellency Yoel Kaguta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda. Your Excellency Salva Kiir, President of the Republic of South Sudan, and the beginner in chairmanship of our community. Your Excellency William Samuel Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, President of the Federal Republic of Somalia, Honorable Ngirende, Prime Minister of the Republic of Rwanda, representing His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, Honorable Prime Vice Prime Minister and the Minister of in Charge of Defense and DRC, representing His Excellency Felix Chisekedi, President of the Democratic Democratic Republic of Congo, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Peter Matuki, Secretary General of AC, Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Angola, representing His Excellency Lorenzo, the President of the Republic of Angola and the Chairperson of the Rwanda Process, Representatives of regional economic communities, members of diplomatic corps, ladies and gentlemen, or protocol observed. Before I get started, I'd like to thank God for his love and mercy in bringing each, each and everyone soft, softly here in Arusha, United States of Tanzania, United Republic of Tanzania, to attend this 23rd summit of AC Heads of State. Allow me, first of all, on behalf of the summit members, to express my great appreciation to the United Republic of Tanzania, our host, for the warm welcome and the hospitality accorded to me and my delegation since our arrival in this beautiful city of Arusha. Second, I wish to thank you, Excellencies, for your active participation during, my, uh, during the organized meetings and your support Without your support, I could not do anything. I'd like to focus my today's statement on some of the substantive achievements during my tenure as chair of the East African Community Heads of State Summit. 
Let me begin by thanking your excellencies for entrusting me with the privilege of presiding over the affairs of our community and serving as your chairperson since 22, the 22nd July 2022. It has been a great honor to steer the most vibrant and the most integrated regional economic community in the African Union in spite of the global challenge. Your Excellencies, on 22nd July 2020, during the 22nd meeting of the summit, we agreed to meet as required to address the critical issues of our common interest. In this regard, I wish to note that during my chairmanship, we have held several extraordinary and mini summit, especially to provide guidance on the peace and the security situation in the community, and in particular in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. I am grateful to your excellencies that your diligently and graciously agreed, your diligently and graciously agreed and responded to my request to meet and have provided robust leaders to the community many times at every short notice and sometimes on the sidelines of other important meetings. Your Excellencies, the community can continue to uh, aspire to have a borderless and more integrated region and the desire of our people for an inclusive, equitable, and responsive integration process that address their daily need and lives up to our vision of one people, one destiny, remain high. The citizens of our community are looking to us to fast track and implement program and projects that will continue to transform our region. It is our responsibility as leaders to ensure that the objective of, of establishing the community remain on course. Your Excellencies, when I took over the chairmanship of the summit, I undertook to focus on directing our efforts towards improve, improving the equity of life of the people of East African community through increased competitiveness, value-added production, trade, and investments. The East African community total trade increased by 13.4% to 74.1 billion U.S. dollar in 2022 from 65.3 billion US in 2021. Total intra-East African community trade grew by 11.2% by, by to 10.9 billion US dollar in 2022 from 9.8 billion US in 2021. The percentage share of intra AC trade to AC total trade stood at 15% in 2022. The increase in attributed to a strong the increase is attributed to a strong collaboration with Patent State to promote East Africa East African state, uh, trade timely resolution of no tariff barriers, enhanced trade facilitation initiative, harmonization of 2.568 East African standards, promotion of micro, small and medium enterprises through 
the annual ASC micro, small, and medium enterprises trade fair, Joa Kari, Ngovo Kazi exhibition, sensitization, and capacity building of relevant stakeholders, among others. The community has continued to put in place mechanisms to enhance intra-East African community trade and industrialization, and we have continued to actively participate in finalizing the implementation of the trade arrangement provided by the tripartite, COMESA, AC, and SADC agreement and the African continental free trade area. I am pleased to report that under the custom union, the partner states have continued with the implementation of the single customs territory and are continuing to, pro to prioritize the interconnectivity of customs system to facilitate seamless exchange of information and faster clearance of goods across borders. Your Excellencies, in order to increase intra ac trade, we must focus on elimination of non-tariff -tar -tariff barriers that continue to impact trade between and among our countries. I also call upon the partner states to ratify the amendment of Article 24.2 of the Protocol of the Establishment of the East African Community Customs Union to pave the way for the operationalization of the Trade Remedies Committee and promote faster resolution on a trade dispute. Cross-border movement of goods, services, and people is only possible under working and efficient infrastructure. I appreciate the partner state's significant investment to cover the existing gaps. I ask also commend the East African Community Secretariat for the tireless, uh, tireless effort in coordinating and mobilize, mobilizing resources for development of multilateral roads linking our partner states. Your Excellency, you will recall that the 21st meeting of the Head of State Summit in 2021, we adopted French and Swahili in addition to English as official language of the community. In the meantime, we directed the Council and the Secretariat to ensure that all statutory meetings of the community are facilitated in the three languages accordingly. I call upon the Council of Ministers to expedite, to expedite the amendment of the treaty and other modalities required to facilitate full implementation and the use of the three languages in all affairs of the community. In improving our productive, productive sectors, the region adopted a five-year AC industrial policy implementation action plan for 2023-2028 that focused on recovery and building resilience for sustainable industrial growth and competitiveness. For our productive sector to, thr to thrive, we need efficient and reliable energy. In addressing this, the community has continued with the implementation of priority energy generation and transmission projects such as the 80 megawatt Rusumo hydropower project between Rwanda, Burundi and Tanzania, which I am happy to report has been completed. I am also happy to report that there is impetus to mobilize resources to support regional connectivity on roads and railways infrastructures, in particular the central corridor connecting Tanzania and Burundi and the north corridors 
connecting Kenya, Uganda, and Rwanda. Your Excellencies, I am glad to report that national consultation for the constitution of the AAC political confederation have so far been held in Burundi, Uganda, and Kenya. I urge the other partner states to cooperate with the Secretariat to finalize the consultation. On the expansion of the community, I am happy that the integration of the Republic of Federal of Somalia became today effective. I congratulate the President of Somalia, the government, and the people of Somalia. The community continued to face a financial challenge that affects the implementation of projects and the programs. I therefore call upon partner states to finalize the sustainable financing mechanism to guarantee the sustainable sustainability of our community relatedly given the difficult financial circumstances in it is imperative for the Council as a policy organ to pursue cost-cutting measures in the community. Your Excellencies, to create a stable business environment and improve the lives of East African community, we must ensure that we strengthen regional peace, security, political accountability, good governance, and institutionalize East African community emergency response mechanism. It is on this basis that, as a family, we made the conscious decision last year to jointly support the DRC government in the restoration of security and stability in Eastern DRC. The fluid security situation in Eastern DRC has been a source of needs, particularly for the five AC partner states that share borders with DRC, not only due to the concentration of groups that may destabilize our partner state, but also the humanitarian consequence, which constant spillover of the plastic person across the borders. Since the attainment of full deployment of East African regional force in the planization area in March 2023, alongside the continuous consultation, the facilitator and uh, of the Nairobi process, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, has held with various stakeholders Relative, uh, relative calm returned in Eastern DRC. In particular, three extraordinary summit and one consultative summit held over the last year were all devoted to responding to the unfolding security situation in Eastern DRC and this bears testimony to the unwavering commitment of the head of state to, to supporting the realization of sustainable peace for the effective, affected population and the region at large. In this process, the partner states have committed men and resources to underscore the leadership and ownership by the region. Other like-minded pattern within the context of the complementary Rwanda process and the peace, security, and the cooperation framework for DRC have been forthcoming in support of home growth initiative. While the summit decision have largely been implemented, they have also been attained a attendant challenge which require give and takes for the peace to hold. I take this opportunity to thank your Excellency for your effort in the mobilization of resources to support the stabilization of Eastern DRC. The ceasefire violation of 6 October 2023 that have since transformed into large armed conflagration 
pose the most serious security threat in Eastern DRC. The summit is seized of this, and as I hand over the reign of this community, I believe there will be a, continue, a continuity in assuring that gain registered are not lost and that the people of Eastern DRC can remain confident that the region stand firmly with them in the quest for restoration of peace and security as well as for stability. I wish to express my, my, my gratitude to His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta and the chairperson of the Rwanda Process President Joao Lorenzo of the Republic of Angola with whom I have patterned in this end of, end of all and whose commitment to the cause remain unwavering. I have trust that faith that together with the support of the oncoming chairperson, they will be collectively be able to achieve the objective we set out. Furthermore, you will also account, uh, count on my full support and the contribution in my capacity of president of the regional oversight mechanism for implementing the framework agreement for peace, security, and cooperation in DRC and the region. I remain committed to this very important issue, not only for DRC, but also for the whole region. I would also like to appreciate President Chisekedi for his leadership and the cooperation in the attainment of the common vision of peaceful Eastern DRC. Excellencies, as I, head I hand over the chairmanship of the East African Community Head of State Summit, I take this opportunity to register my sincere appreciation to all members of the Summit of East African Community Head of State for the goodwill and the cooperation extended to me and to the Republic of Burundi since the, second, the, the 22nd July 2022 when I assumed the Chair of East African Community. As I conclude, I wish to commend the Council of Ministers for their dedication and the excellent work they have done in furthering the integration process. I also express my appreciation to the staff of the community for the role each one continues to play in steering the community to greater higher heights in the many developmental field. I particular, in particular, I commend the leadership of the community under the Secretary General, Dr. Peter Matuku, Matuki, for their service and dedication. I thank you all for your attention, long life to East African community. God bless you. This is my report. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, for the summary report of what you've done for the last one year as the chair of the summit. And indeed, as a secretary, we confirm that is a true picture of what has been done, and we commit to continue supporting going forward. Your Excellency, now allow me to invite His Excellency, Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, President of the Federal Republic of Somalia, who have, been in, who have been admitted as a member of the East African community to give your remarks. Your Excellency, most welcome. 